we have to do something about that. Heading into what fire officials consider a significant drought in wildfire season, Ashland Fire and Rescue is taking a look back at the 2010 Oak Knoll fire that claimed 11 homes. The spread of the fire was just so quick through some of the dry grass and brush and blackberries. It was the largest loss of homes in Ashland's history, and they're trying to learn from it. As being the wildfire area, the Oak Knoll fire being the prime example, not a fire area that we had mapped, but certainly the worst residential fire in Ashland's history. I'm just beyond that. House. Chris Chambers, the Forestry Division Chief for Ashland Fire, says a recent survey broke down the city's six square miles into 16 zones. 14 of them are either at the same level of risk as Oak Knoll or worse. It's a ranking system that takes topography and vegetation and weather into account. Some of the big things that drive wildfire. And we were just able to take that with some new technology and score the entire city. That led the department to asking for a new ordinance to declare the entire city of Ashland a wildfire zone, meaning stricter but safer inspections. It's our responsibility to bring these kinds of proposals to the city council. And the changes won't affect anyone's landscaping retroactively. There are hazards all over Ashland. It's not just what we think of on the hill as being the wildfire area. A perfect example of why they want areas like Oak Knoll and others to be considered wildfire prone. In Ashland, Travis Cook, NBC5 News.